All right, we're now joined by Professor Ishak Akintala. He is the Director, Muslim Rights Concern. Thank you very much for joining us. Please refresh our memories, refresh our minds on the significance of Eid al Kabir. Eid al Kabir signified a remembrance of Prophet Ibrahim, alayhi salatu salam, and blessings of Allah be upon him. Uh, Prophet Ibrahim lived for a long time childless. He prayed to Allah that he should have a child. He was given a child. And later when the child grew up, he had a dream that he still had a child. And he believed if he obeyed the, the dream. So he went up and told the child, Ya Bunaya ini ra'aytu fi manani anni azbawka. Oh my son, in my dream I saw myself slaughtering you. That's in Korean chapter 37, verse 102. Surprisingly, his son, Ismail, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, did not disobey the father. Unlike uh, children of today, his loyalty was total. His obedience was blind. 100% obedience. And that's one lesson we can take from Eid al Kabir. Help us. It's a big lesson. Okay, help, help us um, understand the difference between Eid al Kabir and other festivities like Eid al Malud for non Muslims and people who are interested uh, to understand this. Um, uh, we have Eid al Malud, we have Eid al Fitr. Eid al Malud is uh, the birthday of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. While uh, Eid al Fitr is the festival that ends uh, the fasting of Ramadan. So the, the, that's the difference. All right. Oh, we, we, this is a strange time celebrating amid a pandemic. There's so much rules. People are yet to understand, uh, you know, um, I mean, to get a full grasp of the situation with the pandemic when it comes to the celebrations. What advice, what message do you have for the people so that the pandemic and the restrictions and guidelines doesn't hamper the joy of celebrating? Um. It's sad enough that we have this pandemic, but we must also be grateful to Allah that um, it's not as terrible as it is in other countries, like in China, like in Italy. Yesterday, more than 1,735 people died in the United States of America. We've not been counting thousands in Nigeria. We've not, we've not been counting hundreds. So we have to to to. to to thank God. And uh, that is one lesson and one message I would like to put across to Nigerian Muslims and Nigerians at large. We should obey the protocol set out and designed by the health officials, obey government directives. They are not just giving us instructions for form. It is for our own sake, for, for our health, for our survival. All right. How, how can we use these festivities to push the conversation uh, for peace and unity, um, co peaceful coexistence, so to speak, among all peoples of this nation? Um, we are celebrating Ibrahim, Prophet Ibrahim. The same Prophet Ibrahim is the same Abraham in the Bible. The father of all faith. That's why he's called the father of all faith. Abraham, the father of Ismail, was the father of, and the great great grandfather of Muhammad, the great great grandfather of Jesus Christ. And that means that um, the source of all religion is one. Even the source of creation is one. We are from Adam. Prophet Muhammad said, in Adam. Well, Adam been to Adam. All of you came from Adam, and Adam came from ordinary dust. So, if we are all from Adam and we are from, we are all from uh, Ibrahim, Abraham. All religions are from Abraham. That is particularly the Abrahamic religion, Islam and Christianity. 
It is uh, kind of uh, ironical that Muslims and Christians are at loggerhead, particularly in this country, Nigeria. We are celebrating Abraham today, and the Christians also recognize the fact that Abraham is the father of all faith. Then we should be one. Religion still comes from the from the Latin uh, uh, religion, meaning to link, to connect, to tie together. If religion is to link and to connect and to tie, why must we disconnect? Why must we despise it? Good question. The government has been on in the past uh, a few weeks. There has been so much killing. It's just because people refuse to recognize one another, to, to accept one another as brothers, to tolerate one another's religion. People just want others to follow them blindly. All right, I think uh, Professor. The, yes. I'm afraid that's the much time will permit us, but Thank the questions you, you asked are very, very valid. And I hope the celebrations will encourage us to be better as a people and live in peace. Thank you very much, Professor, for joining us on the news. Your time is appreciated. My pleasure.